This morning, Hurricane Irene is quickly strengthening as it cuts a path of destruction toward the Bahamas. In just a few days, it is likely to head up the East Coast, and it could be the most powerful storm to reach New England in 20 years. CBS News Hurricane Consultant David Bernard joins us from our Miami station, WFOR. He's a meteorologist there. Uh, David, give us an idea at this time. Uh, how strong is Irene, and where is it headed? Still on path for the east, eastern seaboard? Well, it sure looks that way, Erica, this morning. In fact, uh, the storm is very strong. It's on the verge of becoming a Category 3 hurricane, which would make it a major hurricane. Again, here is uh, the latest information that we have from the National Hurricane Center. Winds this morning, 110, 111 would make it a Category 3. And the track remains the same, making it a Category 3 storm moving through the Bahamas over the next 24 hours possibly making landfall near the Outer Banks of North Carolina is a major hurricane Friday night and Saturday morning. And then the future track takes it up the East Coast with a possible landfall anywhere from the Mid-Atlantic, the Delmarva area, the Jersey Shore, possibly eastern end of Long Island, and then across southeast New England as we go into Sunday night and early Monday morning. Now we need to start talking about the possibility of tropical storm force winds. Right now we see a pretty high percentage for Cape Hatteras. Right now Long Island is around 30 percent and that will continue to go up as the storm gets a little bit closer. All right, David, thanks. We know how damaging those winds can be, so a lot of people will be keeping an eye on that as well. Still a lot of question marks. I mean, we still don't know exactly where mm -hmm. this thing is going to go. It's a big, big cone of uncertainty.